Chapter 1 The Recitation of Quran or Other Invocations, etc. after Al Hadath. And Mansur quoted Ibrahim There is no harm in reciting anything in bathrooms without closets and in writing letters without ablution. And Hamad quoted from Ibrahim Greet them if they are wearing their izar, waist covers, otherwise, do not greet them. Narrated Abdullah ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with both of them, that he stayed overnight in the house of Maymuna, may Allah be pleased with her, the wife of the Prophet, peace be upon him, his aunt. He added, I lay on the cushion transversely in its breadthwise direction, while Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him and his wife, lay in its lengthwise direction. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, slept till the middle of the night, either a bit before or a bit after it, and then woke up, rubbing the traces of sleep off his face with his hands. He, peace be upon him, then recited the last ten verses of Surah Al Imran, got up, and went to a hanging water skin. He then performed the ablution from it, and it was a perfect ablution, and then stood up to offer salah, prayer. I too got up and did as the Prophet, peace be upon him, had done. Then I went and stood by his side, on his left side. He placed his right hand on my head and caught my right ear and twisted it, pulled me and made me to stand by his right side. He prayed two raka, then two raka, and then two raka, and then two raka, and then two raka, and then two raka, separately six times, and finally one raka, the witr. Then he lay down again in the bed, till the Mu'adhin came to him, whereupon the Prophet, peace be upon him, got up, offered a light two raka prayer, and went out and lit the Fajr prayer.